In high demand for a new shot that protects babies from RSV. I was actually talking to my doctor about RSV. It's triggering tighter limits on who can get it. And we're 430. We're here in our newsroom. And, and you happen to be here, too, which is really great. And this is something that's that's really important. We need to talk about this. This is Dr. Todd Eller and, of course, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. So until the FDA approved this shot in July, uh, parents had no way of protecting their healthy infants from RSV. What's what's going on with this? Right, well, you know, this has been a real advance because this is the first time we've had a, a long-acting monoclonal in order to protect these kids. We have had monthly ones before. But when did this start? This, we, well, that's part of the problem. One of the reasons it's a shortage is because the CDC just gave the green light in July. So now there's a shortage of the 100 milligrams. So they've been developing before July, July it's released, and now there's not enough out there. The demand has been far greater than the so supply. So as a doctor, you're telling people, go out there, get this, and now you have to say, wait a minute, let's put the brakes on that because of simply because of supply and demand. Right, so the 50 milligram dose of this monoclonal antibody is available, and that's for the kids that are 10 pounds or less. That's still there. But the 100 milligrams for those that are 11 pounds or more, it's, it's in shortage. So basically what the CDC is saying is only really um, reserve this for the kids that are under six months and the kids that have comorbidities, the older kids go back to that old once monthly monoclonal called Synergist. One more thing, pregnant women 34, 32 to 36 weeks, they can get an RSV vaccine. That's different, it's new, it's, a, it's approved and it works. That will protect the babies as well and take the pressure off this monoclonal that's in short supply. What's the supply issue? What, what's, what's happening with that? Well, it's probably a few things. Again, one of the issues is that the, the CDC just greenlit this in July. So the company then has to right. really, you know, go and try to produce this, mass produce it. And they thought they, they were going to do a good enough job, but the demand has outstripped the supply. Also, it's expensive. And I think that some of the, um, some of the uh, community practices and hospitals don't know about the insurance issues. So there's a, mm. a, a few things at play. All right. Dr. Todd Ellerin, live in our newsroom with us. Thank you, doctor.